It's important to make sure that the yarn feeder is lined up correctly so that the river needles can go underneath. They have room just like this to pass underneath. This is correct. So you want the yarn feeder to be close to the cylinder needles and about this much higher than the river needles so that both catch the yarn correctly just past that center point of the yarn feeder. After you've made sure your yarn feeder is lined up, the next alignment matter to discuss is the needles to make sure that they are falling in between the slots. And this is when, when they're designed to be aligned. So I mentioned that usually you start with the river fin pushed all the way in, and we have tried to line up the dials so that when you're knitting with fingering weight yarn, at an average happy tension, the river dials will mainly be lined up. If they're off, you know, a fraction of a millimeter, you're not going to worry about it. You want it to be just in, in between the two slots. It is possible to adjust. So it's hard to do when it's on the machine. So you would want to do this with scrap yarn as you're testing your tension before you start your project. So you can loosen this and then it has um, ridges. So you move it, oops, you move it out like one ridge and the, or, or whatever you think it is for the right amount for you and then tighten it back in and then test again. So the main time you would maybe need that is if you're knitting with DK yarn, for example, something where it's not just your normal fingering weight yarn. But that is how to adjust the alignment if you would like it to be lined up differently. We've also had some people ask about half pitch. Um, it is possible, so that's where you would actually keep this river needle in, sorry, keep this cylinder needle in and the river needle would fall right between them. It is possible if you're going slowly and it's possible in the smaller number of cylinder and river dial needles, the bigger the needles you have, the, the more needles in the cylinder, the less real estate and the more fussy it gets. But it is possible and that is a reason that you would use the um, fin alignment adjuster in order to get that to line up like you wanted. Another reason, particularly if you're using a heavier weight yarn like DK, another adjustment you can make is to raise up the height of the river. You can do that by putting these washers underneath the river frame legs as you're attaching it on. You, we've had trouble as we've raised it up too high. We played with different heights as we were determining the length of the frame. And if it gets too high, then it starts to have trouble with cylinder needles dropping. But if it's too low, then you sometimes have trouble getting the stitches to fall down in between the cylinder and the river dial. So there's kind of a sweet spot, but that is how you adjust it. You could add you know, one to three, for example, washers to help lift up the river frame. The last area of alignment to discuss is actually the tappet cam. And just like the V cams on the machine, this knob is the one that adjusts the length of the stitches. So it adjusts how far in the needle pulls the new yarn through the existing stitch. We usually start with it just right in the middle. Uh, you can watch over here and make sure that the needle is pulling all the way under the tappet plate and knitting the stitch. If you're consistently having the needles come back around and when you're watching over here, you're seeing that there's a whole stack of them that aren't just aren't knitting, uh, you can try adjusting the weight first. And then the other thing to adjust is to move the um, tappet cam in, moving it so you you know turn left to loosen then you can move it in toward the center would make the stitch longer. But again, the tiniest bit goes a very long way. So those are the main things to know about adjusting your ribber to get it to knit like you want to. Happy crinking. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.